think a ride has to be like a story. It should have sort of definable moments of drama, but also have points where you're sort of chilling and, and sitting back a little bit. You know, it can't all be loaded up into one kind of intense experience. It should have a rhythm. Since I started bikepacking, I always saw bikepacking routes as having a massive potential to tell stories about land use, conservation. They offer connection to nature like no other form of travel, in my opinion. And when you go, sometimes I always say, please, Paramo, let me go in. Because if the Paramo doesn't want you to be there, it just closes and you cannot see, right? You cannot even see what is one meter in front of you. It is a very special and delicate place because we don't have snow peaks that brings water to our city. So we rely on the paramos and the frailejones, which is a special plant that only grows a couple of centimeters per year that distills the water. During the week when I train, I can go to a paramo just in one hour, I'm there. I love the noise of silence, you know. The silence in these places are, is amazing. The concept of creating this route and then encouraging people to go to those natural places to pedal themselves there, it's really empowering. They can kind of gain an understanding of their own place, of where their needs are coming from, under their own power. And the great thing about a bicycle is that anyone can afford it, can ride it, and definitely enjoy it. Water is one of the most important things in the world. That's undeniable. The fact that Chingaza is responsible for 70% of the water provision of one of the largest cities in South America is incredible. It seems crazy that an ecosystem that's so valuable is threatened, that it's not assured, that we have to work to protect it, despite the fact that we're completely dependent on it. The pitches are steep, the track is bumpy, the elevation is high, but the rewards kind of meet that ruggedness. 